Okay, there we go. Brought it back down here with my monitor, and as you can see, the changes that have been made to it with the card reader and the USB 3.0 jacks in front. And we're actually going to turn on the PC for the first time since upgrading it. So let's see how this works out. All right, American Megatrends, Emmy BIOS, American Megatrends Incorporated, ASUS, or ASUS, getting used to the new way they pronounce it, ASUS P8P67 Deluxe ACPI BIOS Revision 1305, CPU Intel Core i7 2600K, CPU 3.4 gigahertz or 3400 megahertz. Total memory 8192 megabytes of DDR3. USB devices total four drives, one keyboard, one mouse, two hubs. USB drive 0, Sony card reader, USB drive 1, Sony card reader, USB drive 2, Sony card reader, USB drive 3, Sony card reader. Detected the first Port, the SATA port is the C300 CTF DDAC 128 megabyte. That is the SSD drive. And then on port 3, there is the ASUS DVD drive, the LightScribe drive. New CPU installed. Please enter setup to configure your system. Press F1 to run setup. So it looks like everything's running okay. I'm going to install my Windows 7 Ultimate Disk here. And if you followed my channel at all, you know that I ran into some problems with the counterfeit one. But this is the genuine one from Microsoft that I paid for. And we're going to install the disk, the 64-bit version, and restart the computer here. So here's the disk. Let's put it in. And let's shut this down. And then we'll start it right back up and hopefully Windows will start booting up for the install. There we go. Now you're probably really familiar with how to load up Windows. You've probably done it once or twice or a hundred times yourself. If you're not familiar, I did this once before when I originally built this computer. So I want to refer you to that video where I'm actually loading it up for the first time. That way I don't have to retread that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join you back once Windows is installed and we're going to then install the specific drivers for this motherboard. So I will see you then. Okay, this is what it looks like once I've installed Windows. And as you can see, none of the drivers are installed. So I'm going to use the chipset support driver disk that came with the uh, motherboard. I'm going to put that in and install the drivers and then I'm going to have to install the driver for the uh, graphics card as well. Alright, so here we go. I have all the drivers loaded up on the computer now, finally. And I don't know if you can see up in the upper right hand corner, but I have a CPU usage meter up here and it shows that I have eight cores running. Very cool. Make it a little bigger there. Eight cores, eight gigabytes of RAM. This thing's a monster. Now this is what the Windows Experience rating is on here. I got a 6.0. The processor has a 7.6 score. The RAM has a 7.6 score. And the SSD drive has the highest rating you can get on here, which is a 7.9. Uh, the only thing that's kind of holding it back pretty much is the graphics card, which is 
more than enough for my needs, but that just gives you an idea of what is going on on this machine here. So it's a monster, it's a beast. If I wanted it to be all in the upper sevens, I'd just get a new graphics card, but like I said, for my needs, not necessary. So the next thing I have to do for this computer is I just have to reattach the 1.5 terabyte hard drive that I have on there. Then I'm going to reformat it and load up all my data onto it again. So why don't we go do that? All right, so now we're just going to reattach the hard drive and it's going to be pretty easy. All I have to do is plug in the power supply. Power supply is right here. All I have to do is plug it right in and we're good to go. Very, very easy. Everything's plugged in, ready to go. I'm going to button this up and fire it back up and then it should detect two drives and use it for all my data. All right, just got to put the thumb screws back on. And then we're back in business. All right, we're going to fire up the computer for the first time with both hard drives attached. And we're going to see if we get an error message or if it just boots straight in. All right, it looks like it just booted straight into the SSD drive, which is a good thing. And we're going to log in real quick. All right, we just got to go down to the start menu down here and search for computer management and click on that. And then we're going to go to disk management here. Now, the first disk here, disk zero, is my SSD drive. Disk number one here is the 1.5 terabyte hard drive that I have in there. So what I want to do is I just want to wipe this entire partition. We're going to reformat the drive itself. And then I'm just going to reinstall all my data on there. Now you don't necessarily have to do that, but I like doing a fresh start once in a while, even though it's only been six months since I made this computer. But uh, it allows me to get a clean slate, only keep what I want to keep, and move it from there. Plus this drive has the old Windows installation on it. So I just want to kind of get rid of that and that's the easy way to do it. So I'm going to right click here on the healthy partition. I'm going to delete the volume. Then it says deleting this volume will erase all data on it. Back up any data you want to keep before deleting. Do you want to continue? Yes, because I've already backed everything up. And I'm going to do the same here for the system reserved, which is 100 megabytes delete the volume. This is an active partition on this disk. All data on the partition will be lost. Are you sure you want to delete this partition? Yes, I do. And there we go. I have one large space unformatted, unallocated. I'm just going to reformat it now and then I should be able to access it from Windows as probably my D drive. So I'm just going to right click on the disk itself. I'm going to hit new simple volume and it's going to take me through the new simple volume wizard here. So I'm going to hit next and I'm going to use the entire drive. So I'm going to max it out there. I'm going to use the entire drive and we're going to call it E because it defaults to E. So might as well. And we're going to hit next. This is format partition. Choose whether you want to format this drive, and if so, what settings you want to use. Format this volume with the following settings. NTFS, which is the Windows file system. Allocation unit size, default. And volume label, we'll call it data. And then it's clicked here where it says perform a quick format. We're going to leave that on there, and then we're going to hit next. And then it's just verifying everything that you chose and we're going to hit finish. And it's formatting the drive. 
And I think we're all set there. I did a quick format. So data drive E is ready to go. It gives me a couple of options here. Open folder to view files or use this drive for backup. I'm just going to click on the first one. As you can see, there's nothing there. What we're going to do is we're going to go into computer over here. And you see I have here, I have my, I don't know if you can make out the values on there, but I have my SSD drive, which is a 128 gigabyte hard drive. And then here is my 1.5 terabyte hard drive, and that's empty. It's called data over here. So now I can load up all my stuff on here, all my music, all my videos, all that on there. And again, I'm keeping the SSD drive for all my programs. So all my programs are going to be loaded on my SSD drive, which is my C drive and all my data and everything will be loaded up on my E drive, which is my data drive. So that pretty much does it for this round of updates on my PC build here. I don't anticipate doing any new upgrades, at least for a couple of months. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope they were informative. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Leave the comments down below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe thumbs up, all that good stuff, because I put a lot of effort into my videos and I want to get some feedback from you guys and it's good to know what you like, what you don't like. So that pretty much does it for this video. I will see you next time.